Lee's in the lane. So does that kind of make it even, in your opinion, throughout these side lanes? I think there's just a lot of potential for heroes to get poked down, right? At any minute, like even like a Tide plus any active hero just finds kills. And you already see it here. Kuro. All the blocks. Yeah. Hanskin, oh, so that is good. a great way to start things off. Kuro is going to go down. Hanskin takes the kill with a beautiful little catch there on the disruption. And that's going to be the entire laning phase now for Kuroki. Middle like, lane as well. Now the ward is down even. The three-man D ward. You love to see it. <laughs> GH? Should be, should be fine. Lands. Yeah, he's kind of setting up. Oh, there's a Mars. Uh, no, I take it back. I take it back. No, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> he's very uh, yeah. dead. <laughs> he's very dead. <laughs> I didn't see the Mars coming from the, from the hilltops. If we didn't, then he sure didn't. And now down in the bottom lane, more action taking place. Podlo trying to get away with the blast off. He's got to sidestep this some way, somehow cannot do it. Gets caught by the kiss and does go down. Cookie out, that one will miss. S4 trying to get himself away from this one. And I think he will be successful in doing so. No more reason. Like, support players would be winning TI with like 2,000 net worth to their name. They'd be like, damn, I did it, boys. I earned a couple milli, but got nothing in game. And yeah, but now we've we got gold, we got economy, we got life, and maybe S4 is going to be losing his life here to a rotation. Looks like a discipline reveal coming out from Mind Control, and he is going to use it to slay the enemy off laner with ease. Comboing up with Mikey here. My goodness. I mean, yeah, Alliance, uh, they're, they're cool right now. It's, it's, nice it's just kind of to farm up. Uh, okay, Chuan's making the play onto GH here. This, this would be a nice pickup, and I think they're going to. Oh. Oh, there dead, was a little dead. banister on there. It's fine. It's fine. It was so close to being awkward. I was down for the survival, but of course, Pango has plenty of spells in the test will be very important for Alliance. And also just getting any type of kills when Nygma are overextended. Like GH in the mid lane. You could argue MC right now is a bit overstepped his mark. Yeah, let's see if they can punish this. I mean, Chuan did spend a really long time deciding whether to go for this uh, this ultimate. He actually turns around to go for the, uh, the Enchantress, which just means they can kill off Pondla on the side, and they don't get anything on Alliance. Oh, they were Dyer's missing the plus one, right? And Goodness. It's been the story so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just really surprised that Chuan decides about I mean, I guess the Mars had like a, a very big wand available, but still. Oh, nice disruption. That'll save him from this cookie. And uh, Chuan, nope, never mind. Mind Control's there with the spear available. It's a mega kill streak now for Mikey. 5 0 and 1. This Snapfire is owning. Just crushed it. Because I think the game was actually with Nisha going against Amar. It was Liquid vs. Quest, and I remember Nisha just 0. Every time he hit the wall, boom, gets stuck. And so, in regards to my little field, field you know, test. A, yep. option A, tick. Now option B. That's the first eye out. won't be making it away. Tries to go for the blast off. Can't quite get out. And that is going to be Kuro grabbing himself a little kill here onto the techies as they continue to kind of control up this top area. I don't imagine they're going for Roche anytime soon. More just to kind of map controllers down at bottom. They're trying to bring down GH here. They will be able to do that. But S4 now needs to escape. But I'm not sure he's going to be able to. There's a spear coming out on him as well. Somehow catching him on the edge of those stairs. And that'll be yet another kill going to Kuro here as they take down the Tidehunter. S4 is just... Having a rough time. He's, he's dying in not terrible places, kind of dragging uh, dragging Nygma around a little bit, but still a, a tough old game for him so far. Yeah, he's oh, just going to be skin. just an existence kind of factor in this game. Might hit a Ravage and sure. <laughs> Alliance going to keep getting run over when they try and go aggressive. And you can kind of feel from Alliance at least that they know they can't make any real plays because their carries AFK farming. So they're just kind of throwing bodies to, to do things. Is it helpful? Yeah, Mikey just forced off himself into the fight. Ravage still available for S4 whenever he wants to use it. They don't really do much damage to him. So he can just kind of wait, bide his time and choose his targets. Charlie still looking for an entry into this fight. And to be fair, the Spears are doing a lot, but GH is doing a lot as well. But now Yuma on the front lines by himself or just with Kuro. And disruption comes out, but Ants get taken damage. The kisses come over the top as well. Ravage is down. They want to focus everything they've got onto Yuma and try and bring him down. Look at Charlie, not even entering the fight. The Slayer's Illusions do the job. Now he comes in, trying to desperately finish off this Medusa. They need to get the kill. They need to bring down Yuma here. They're just, <laughs> just even the uh, Decrepify coming through as well. It won't be enough, or maybe it will. Do. Oh, the double gang into Dr. Cookie. They get the kill. Yuma is down. We'll move across to Mikey now as well. Mikey just going for the TP out. He's going to make his way out of the engagement. Oh, that's Rush as well. Oh. What an exceptional fight from Alliance. Everything that I've been mentioning and how they need to win this clutch fight. Yeah, group up all down, together. Yeah, yeah they're, they're happy to take this. I'll fight it on their terms. Roshan is up, so this is a pivotal part of the game once again. 
whoever gets Roshan might get a little bit more confidence to to look at you know some objective play. Let's see. I mean, PL does kind of give things away. And now, oh my god, look at that Enchantress. She just absolutely melts the damage of Alliance. The Illusions plus the Swashbuckle is way too much for Kuro to deal with. So their early warning system is gone, but they're looking for the return kill. And they are likely going to find it here onto Ponlo. Ponlo trying to make his way around this one, but can't really do it. And once again, Charlie just injecting into the fight here. Not committing. Just throwing in those spears again and again. The entry to the fight. Let them see us. <laughs> exactly. And it didn't really pay off because, of course, Techies died. But still... The fact that no big support, the SD didn't die in that, gives Alliance life wow. in this area. Kuro just TPing into this fight, I mean, giving no pairs at all towards Charlie, and now the Ravage coming through as well, that'll allow him to kill the Pugna. Well, Hanskin is dead in the meantime, BKB, BKB coming out from the Medusa, I mean, she's low on mana, not completely out though. Just gonna pop that Stone Gaze and try and find Charlie, but Charlie's just out, I mean... Kuro does finally end up dying as well, but they're all kind of pinned here on Nick the Galaxy. They're just going to get speared to death by Charlie, who again, just not committing to this fight. Just a spear after spear after spear, and now they're the engaged. They bring down Yuma, looking towards GH on the sidelines as well. GH trying to get himself away on the Pugna, will not be able to do so. Over on the sidelines, Mind Control popping the BKB and just trying to run himself out from this one. Ponlo staying on a six, for the rest of the team have backed themselves away. They're the teams that just pop off. They are... They are insanely good but also you need the right heroes to be able to do it alliance they don't have the heroes to be able to do that type of play in this game uh, Pikmin, they really yeah, uh, okay yeah i mean the disruption comes through just to interrupt the life drain and it might be enough bkb's out but she's out of mana yuma needs to get away the oh bangalore chasing no it doesn't go for the medusa kill charlie frozen on the low ground here but he's got that aegis so he doesn't really care too much so far only the one casualty it's just kuro who's fallen Charlie looks towards finishing off the tower here. He's back to on the back lines. He's got the BKB, but he's got no teammates. He's got no way out of this either. So he's just going to go down here. Charlie cleaning up another one. I gotta say this, Charlie Phantom Lancer is looking absolutely juicy right now. And his scoreline doesn't even a little bit longer. He's gonna come back, of course, has the Aegis, so he might be dying fully here, and yep, certainly will go down. Alliance, you need to make sure you're ready to defend him. Swashbuckle's come through, disarms the Medusa for the time being, but the spear back, oh, that's good. Mikey, he's got another little shredder in just two seconds. That might what be what they need to finish the job. Yuma's doing a pretty decent job as well. The crit comes through, and Charlie is dead. Chuan goes down with him. There's a little shredder coming out from Mikey. Two big calls, wiped off the face of the earth. Alliance, they stayed around just a little little too long and now they are on the hunt Nick Galaxy they find yet another one spear catches out S4 just the right timing at the tail end of the TP S4 trying to get himself away but I don't think there's any way out of this one Mikey even gonna deny him the arcane rune as well little shredder available pop 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 and Mikey is godlike excellent spell casting there from Nygma their backs against the wall Alliance winning every single team Nygma now has like the X factor in their lineup right they've overcome yes. the awkwardness and at any minute it's like you break the game with an SD kill or a techie kill even Pango can die to this right so Alliance they they shouldn't be comfortable they're the ones at any minute Ooh, there's a jump Supports are very vulnerable. Oh my goodness. Okay, there goes Ponlo. First one out. Now the arena comes down, trying to catch out at the very least a Shadow Demon. I mean, his saves have been so damn annoying, but the Ravage is there. S4 looking to save Hanska or at least buy him a little bit of time as Charlie and Twan on the sidelines here just trying to bring down Kuro. They seem to be struggling with that assignment though. As well, Stone Gates comes down from Medusa. She's still absolutely healthy. Hunky Dory. Ground Siege. And then the levels come into play. And now Mikey, he's really able to just cut for everything Alliance has been able to present themselves and even with their defensive posturing around the ward they just don't have kind of global coverage to be able to really stop Snapfire from just executing those heroes Oh, a wave arena. But look oh at this again goodness, from Mikey. Mikey is sitting and waiting. He's looking for Chuan as well. But Chuan rolling around the engagement, using that shield crash to give himself a little bit of health. Charlie, he could be in some trouble. They were on top of him once again. The little shredder coming on through. Charlie needs to get himself out. The invisibility, the taser as well. He's running. He can't go for the TP there. And he knows he's trying to get to the other side of Roshan's pit. But he's running out of places to run. Yuma looking for him. Gonna hunt him down. Down goes the Phantom Lancer. 94 seconds dead, but has the buyback. Dude, Mikey is doing so much work right now. Like he, he could fight to kind of understand the processes in which they want to approach this PL and they've adapted mid game to be able to do it. Will they be able to get the mega creeps and cleanly close out this game? Of course, Alliance won't be backing out any Hanskin point. Hanskin goes into the disruption onto the Medusa, but might be paying the price for it as Mind Control immediately drops the arena down. Hanskin is going to end up dying here, but Charlie doing a decent amount of damage back towards Mind Control, but he himself is getting kind of low. And in for the back lines, Yuma goes in deep. 
Uh, Spore's looking low. He's going to fall as well. Alliance, they need to hold the line here, but Stone Gaze out onto Charlie. He needs help, but Tron comes rolling in to try and give it to him, but the little Shredder's down as well. Doppelganger up to the high ground. Charlie trying to escape, but he's been forced around every which way. He is down. Buyback needs to be used now, and it will be. But they're fighting without their Shadow Demon. He is not back into this engagement right now. Alliance is going to have to find a way to make this work, regardless as Tron taking some heavy hits, and the front lines here does have to buy back and he wants to make the yeah. most use of it possible look at that little shredder coming on through it's not enough to bring down the pangolier though charlie just trying to do his best here to just throw in spells throw in abilities but yuma again with the blink dagger just getting in front of the spear catch him out as well charlie no is gone 125 seconds no buyback on the phantom lancer that should be it for the side of alliance i don't think they can fight without him yuma just walking around the fight taking whoever he wants a snap fire as well dealing the damage gh somehow picks up those kills i don't know how buybacks are coming but ggs are called the game is over in alliance they will fold out of this first game oh, but what a close game neither team was in the driving seat for the entirety and i gotta give it to for mine out of all the players in dota there is one player that I would never allow you even to jokingly say that to. And yeah, that is the GH. sweetest hope. Okay, okay. Ooh, good, good response. But MC is a close second. <laughs> they are some of the more oh, mind awesome control. great pairings. Oh, one more click. They're going to get him. There you go. That metamorphosis comes down and the powerful demon will take out mind control. Goodbye, Beastmaster. And uh, hello, loads of CM. Maybe you got pretty low in the process, but yeah, just been chilling. I keep an eye. I keep I keep an eye on mid, everybody. As this guy's getting, uh, he's currently got 723 of his mana reduced. Mikey, oh, he hits the six. He's gonna kill. Him. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know if he did 100 to zero him. But, GH yeah. as well. Oh, yeah, wise path catches him out. Oh, over the very fire and the wand. They weren't ready for it, and that means the little green man's gonna be able to run himself away, but. Anyway, continue telling me about the ramifications of the middle lane. Hold on, we might get to see the implications of the ramifications of the middle lane as Hanskin does actually end up going down to GH instead, and Ponlo will fall Ooh. in the mid. Yep, yeah, I was trying to see if this Timber saw OD, if OD did have that kind of explosive out. Charlie. Clearly he does. Trying to finish off GH here, but he's so damn fast running through the tree lines. He's juking, he's jiving, he's, he's thriving. One more hit, will not be finding. There's Doesn't no have the metamorphosis up any longer. He's trying to do it in human oh, mode, and he gets Nether killed Ward. off. Dies to the Nether Ward, in fact. Dude, so many big kills coming in the last couple of minutes, right? You've got no, the, the Timber Dive. I want to see it. Anyway. Okay, there you go. That's our request. It's been heard, and maybe it comes into play. Alliance, unfortunately, not really able to kind of connect any of the dots recently. Bit of an unfortunate couple of minutes, right? Black Hole's cancelled. Timber's dying. TB's dying. Need to kind of slow down this game a little bit. And sure they are by killing off GH. The yep. key thing for Alliance with this passive style of draft is stall the aggression, bide your time, itemize for the mid game. And unfortunately, oh, we're finding a couple Those cheap Jakiro kills. as well. They're trying to bring in the damage onto Mind Control. Meanwhile, Rupture up on the top lane, but we'll watch Charlie try and finish this job here onto Mind Control. Needs a little bit more. Needs one more right click. Oh, he's not going to find it. Meanwhile, up on the top side, S4 will go down again. The Rupture is there. The damage is through. And uh, a sad start to the game for S4, has to be said. Bottom. Not the best of Small. Enigma picks. We kind of anticipated uh -oh. this. Charlie, 1v3-ing right now. No! He tried, oh, no, he tries to sunder no, under oh. the Nether Ward. I mean, he wasn't getting out of there any other way. Had to give it a go. But, uh, it's the second unless. time he's died to Nether Ward. The yep. second time. This is now the worst amount of deaths or the worst performance, technically speaking, Charlie's ever had in this tour on Terrorblade. And I'm just, I'm so worried. I, I, I feel like I was really hinting at this during the draft. Like, how does Alliance play Dota with these heroes and Enigma? All that ring ram hero to open up the doors to this fight. He's going to charge on through. Mikey, he's kind of in the river. He absolutely is, yeah. No response from Mikey. No astral imprisonment coming out of, uh, at all, really. S4 is just sitting here. I mean, he's going to go for the black hole. Does manage to catch out Yuma. Mikey gets out the other side, but he's holding back the support. They need to bring down this OD, and they don't seem to have the damage. And S4 is going to go down again, as well as Chuan. Oh, no. It looked like it could have been amazing. But instead, it is an absolute disaster for the side of Alliance. Can they keep this middle tower alive? I'm not sure they can. You yeah, just missed the black hole. As simply as it put. He was inside the imprison. Was, he was, was trying to go for zoning. more. And now Pondo runs in as well. And zoning uh, black holes aren't going to win you this game. And unfortunately, 
S4 with now the second blunder of the game on his uh, is a negative Mikey. So Yuma just enough time to disengage. Oh, that's like, pretty lit. That was such a five head roar from MC. No, absolutely. Sorry to jump in that one, but I had to Worth highlight it. how That's awesome important. Was. Yeah. Chikiro being cooked up a little bit here. Gonna try and slow down Mind Control's advance. Mind Control, he's only got eyes for one man here. He says that's far as he's like, hello, you handsome man. He's just gonna stay right on top of him with those drums banging away, but uh, the rest of Enigma kind of coming in to assist out here. Chuan's in on this as well. Enigma getting very low indeed, trying to hide inside the trees. I mean, maybe can uh, respond with something here as Kuro, they've uh, poured a little bit too much onto this fire here. As for just gonna go and TP and swear, I don't want my job is done. They didn't kill him. He duped around the trees very nicely and Enigma lose two heroes because of it. But they are done. They're looking at this right now. They're looking at Chuan and uh, Chuan. He doesn't have much response. He's actually just going to get cooked. Oh no! Committing to this one as well. My goodness. I mean, Alliance. They're really forcing this one out. Surely there's no way they actually I make this fight work. A nice little line. one fight, right? Charlie, as a carry player, will normally be able to dictate the, the the squad into one engagement that can go well. Issue is with TB. Meta gets used often. The next fight after in that window. Here we go. It's kind of hard to fight. And Chuan already half HP Bloodseeker. He's got such a great counter. Yeah, instantly deleted. Yuma just cuts through him and even chasing the rest back as well, just making sure they are absolutely getting this tier two tower uncontested by the side of Alliance. Without their Timbersaw, there is no chance of coming up to this one. So once again, you know, just kind of looking at those counter map plays coming out from S4, just shoving those Eidolons up to the top side, along with the helm of the Dominator creep. JJ is going to stick a straw in it and gobble it up for himself. Yeah, so I see uh, they resummon, but down at bottom, Podlo's gonna die as well. Nope. Oh, it's actually I'm intrigued in the mid lane. to know wow. why. Solo, look at yeah. S4 real quick. Deaths are occurring, but I'm intrigued to know why S4 locked his helm in the Dominator right now, not com completing the helm of the Overlord. I, I honestly have no money. idea if there's some like oh, uh, super tech creep. here. No, because he also, whilst he had Helmet Dom, his creep died to the Tier Two Tower. He then recast it whilst having the lock. Yeah, heroes are dying right now. That's fine. But I'm really okay. Here we go. He just, he's, he's he now it. just unlocked it. Yep. And he just okay. He's been roared. Oh. He's gonna die. The drums are uh, drumming, and S4 is a dying. And it's going to be the uh, fourth death for S4. I was honestly hoping there was some like revolutionary tech that we weren't aware of. Well, I was just trying to poke into this triangle. I said, "Come on, leave, leave us a triangle at the very least." The there we go. I can see. Well. They do actually relent okay, and head themselves back a bit, but they're kind of playing around this ward. They're huddled at the moment. Yeah, smoke up. Smoke back. S4, no, run. Roars out. Mind control. Gets straight on top of him. The global science is down as well. They'll take care of S4. He's got the buyback, though. There is potential here. It's Charlie bashing into Yuma. Yuma trying to finish off. Trying to go for the TP. Not going to happen, though. The Terra Blade is dead as well. S4 trying to fight the moment here. He's going in. In comes Mikey, Black Mikey, Mikey. out onto the Bloodseeker. That doesn't seem to be the damage done as Mikey comes in around the sidelines. Charlie, he needs to finish Yuma off. Cannot do so. Yuma just runs away. Uh, but Nice stun out from Hanskin here. Is it going to be enough? Mikey taking so much damage to Macapire. Is it going to stick one. him down? Looks like Mikey's going to survive. And both the big calls make it out on the side. Feels of like Alliance are just playing a little bit sloppier today, or at least in this second game. They played some beautiful Dota in the last couple of series, but the inconsistencies are now shining. This is quite a struggle of a game too. Yeah, I mean, what, you, you want Twine out front when you go for those plays, right? Yeah, Spirit Breaker or Timbersaw, just to, you know, soak up some stuff at least but well again, he's gonna be in the front of this one Tim, but yeah. this isn't the fight they really want to be taking once again going for the yeah. timber chain tp not even going to remotely survive that one two heroes dead enigma galaxy they're knocking on the high ground right now alliance i just don't think they have an answer metamorphs is still down for tense room to actually turn up to this fight and get some get some damage coming in they've lost the rats another one going down even Mikey in this, just the level of aggression he has. We saw it in the Snapfire game, even now in the OD. He blinks in, Hurricane Pikes, uses the vision. He's just slapping S4. Oh, just soloed him. He's just gone. He's done that twice now. What an absolute unit of a player. Roars out as well onto the Timbersaw. Global Science to follow up as well. They'll take him down with ease. Juan is gone. Charlie hitting from the high ground, looking onto Yuma. Yuma, his first life, might just be going down to Charlie here. Certainly will. Charlie's still able to be the beast he needs to. He's playing Ibla here. Boom up again I'm just constantly forcing alliance like hey guys if you leave your base i'm here i'm 30k up i am the mid laner in this game meanwhile they're just losing bot racks yep no metamorphosis their one hero which can do damage can no longer do damage it's looking very very tricky as the ultimate comes in from mikey he'll just take down handscan straight off the bat yuma running in the black hole's gonna come down on him but the roar is there to answer it s4 is dead 
Alliance, their chances are rapidly, rapidly disappearing in front of their eyes. Their chances of staying in Division 2. Thunder? Thunder is out. Charlie is alive. 60 seconds Wrong on there, though. Yep. It's just too long to wait. Mikey, he's on top of him. Plants a <laughs> flag, the nonetheless. The banner does say goal, by the way. So that's a, that's a cool footballing reference for Mikey. Just scored a goal <laughs> on the line. footballing reference, which most people <laughs> won't get. Yep. <laughs> Ponlo looking for the hunt here, trying to find something. <laughs> Just popping the yours under the puck there. They've got the blink dagger as well. Global starts to come down as well. Mega Creeps have been bought, by the way. It is just playing it out now for Nick Ruth. Mikey just slapping people. Ponlo gets taken apart. Charlie as well. Your armor don't mean nothing to Mikey right here. He's going to get another one. He's just taking down everybody right now. 13 and 1 on this OD. Up to the high ground we go. A GG is cool. That will do it. Game number two. Absolute stop. Name the galaxy. No prisoners taken. Dude, what a yeah, what a banging game.